How you guys doing today? Mark Franks from PlentyOfGadgets.com. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up two monitors to your laptop. It's actually called a dual monitor setup. And we're going to use a USB to HDMI adapter to get it done. Now the process is fairly easy. And today guys, I'm going to show you how to set up the hardware components of it. And I'm going to show you how to configure the software. So let's go ahead and get started. So since we're using a laptop, our ports are going to be limited. So typically you, you, will, you will not see an, two HDMI ports on a laptop. So you, you just see one. So to, uh, to remedy that problem, we want to go ahead and use a USB adapter. Now this is a USB-C to two HDMI adapter. Now if you don't have a USB-C on your laptop, don't worry, I'll go ahead and put a USB-C uh, 2.0 or 3.0, I'll put that in the, in the links below. All right, I'll put that in the description so you guys can go ahead and grab that. But this is a Solora. This cost me $29. I think you can go, you can go ahead and get cheaper ones, but it's a US, USB adapter, and this is where all the magic happens. Now, uh, just like I was saying, if you don't have a USB-C Type-C, this is a much faster, newer, uh, newer port, you can get a, I'll put the, in the description below, I'll put a 2.0 and a 3.0. Now, how you know the difference between a 3.0, 3.0 connect? If you have a 3.0, you'll have a blue slit right here and if you have a 2.0 it'll be a, a a black a black color right there so and i wouldn't really worry about worry about it too much if you get a 3.0 adapter and you only have a, a black color here it'll still work uh but you will just it just won't be the data the data rate won't be as fast and you probably won't notice it unless you're playing games yeah. so let's go ahead and let me show you guys how to connect it let's get it done All right guys, so how to connect it, the process is fairly easy. Guys, I have two 24 inch Scepter monitors here. Uh, these cost me about $130, I'll leave that in the description below. Um, and I have both of their HDMI cords dangling loose here. So both of these have these HDMI cords. So basically all we do, and here's my laptop. This is a Samsung Flex Core i5. It's an eight gigabyte and I believe 250, 56 um, gigabytes of hardware space. It's a 13.3, it's a, it's a pretty nice laptop. All right, so now all we do here is we'll take this USB-C adapter, and I'll go ahead and plug it in a USB-C port on the laptop. So I'll show you guys, here's a USB-C port on the laptop for HDMI. So plug it in here. And then I have the two HDMI slots here, so I'll plug one HDMI in And I'll plug the other HDMI in. And that's it. And we'll go ahead and turn the laptop on. Now, if you, when you first start, you'll probably see duplicate monitors, or you'll probably see that your monitor's not on at all. So we're gonna have to do some software configuration. I'll show you guys what to do. So let me go ahead and, now because I've already had these two monitors hooked up before, I should have no problem. So right now I have, it looks like dual monitors, but I have the monitors extended. All right, so I can go up, I can go left and right, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So let's go ahead and move to the next step. All right, guys, so after you have your two monitors hooked up, you might have duplicate monitors with the same thing on each one of them, or you might have a monitor that's on, but there's a black screen. So what you do now is you go to your laptop, your main display, and you right click and you go to your display settings. And then you see that how I have three monitors already set up here. And this is just the positioning. So this is represents my laptop and this represents my second monitor. So my third monitor and my second monitor. You can flop this around. You can move this this way. You can move it this way, however you want it. If you have uh, if you want, if you have your laptop to your left, it'll, you, if you want to go straight up to your third monitor or straight up to your second monitor, you can do that and you can have it like this. So, but me, I like to keep it like this. I wipe my uh, laptop in the middle and I can go up to the left for my third monitor and up to the left, uh, I'm sorry, up to the right for my second monitor. So I like to do that. Now, if you don't, if you don't see your monitors up here, you can go ahead and click the detect button 
And it'll, what it'll do is it'll try to detect your monitors again. And if you don't, if it doesn't detect it, go ahead and unplug your monitor from your adapter. And if that doesn't work, go ahead and unplug your adapter completely for about five seconds and then plug it back in. All right. So that's how that works. Now to extend your monitors, what you do is you go down and if you have your monitor, if they're operational, if they're running, you will see where it says multiple displays. You see, you hit that drop down button, you, it'll say duplicate desktop on one and two. If you want one and two to be duplicate, and it says duplicate desktop on one and three. You can choose that as well, or you can choose the extended desktop on the display. So what I'll do in this situation, we'll choose extend desktop to this display. So it'll extend your desktop. You'll have the same picture, but your icons and everything won't be the same. You'll have now have the ability, ability to have one thing going, one window, one application going on one monitor or your laptop and then move a different application to your another monitor. All right. So that's what that's what you want to do. You want to hit the extend desktop to display to this display. And that'll essentially extend your desktop. Now, let's say if I go ahead and open up an inter internet window, I'll go ahead and open up an internet window here and I add a window, I add a different tab. I'll go ahead and throw this tab on the second monitor up and I'll add another tab and I'll go ahead and throw that tab on the third monitor. And let's go ahead and change the websites. This is Google. I'll change this to YouTube. And up above to the left, I'll change that to Google. And I'll change the one to the right. I'll change this one to, let's say, Yahoo. And now if I back up, I have multiple displays with different windows. You have Google, you have Yahoo, and you have YouTube. So you can do the same thing if you're working on a Word document, you need to do a PowerPoint. It just makes your work that much more efficient. So that's how to get that done. That's how to extend your monitor monitors and have dual monitor set up on your laptop. All right, guys, so that is essentially how you hook up two monitors to one laptop. Guys, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave all your questions below and I'll, I'll get to them as soon as I can. But that's pretty much it. Catch you guys in the next one.